Welcome, farmer. Welcome, Burger Farms. FS, that's best. Enjoy. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to part 21 of our Nebraska Let's Play roleplay series. Today, we have got back from, well, uh, what, we were in Iowa? Got back from Iowa. We got K30 back here. We got the other truck back here, of course. We sold the other F50. F450 we bought, which I don't even know if I, I think we had that for one day I sold it and I realized it was a bad investment. And I also bought a second gen. That's right, I bought a second gen. This thing is going to be used around the farm for a while. This thing's probably going to be like our main farm truck. I really like it. Uh, yeah, it was I bought it during the live stream yesterday which you guys can check out if you want. But anyways, we need to get into some stuff such as well, we already got some stuff sold, but we're going to go actually to the dealer and we need to buy some stuff. And we're actually trading in this thing as well. 8400R. This thing's being traded in. I already sold a couple of uh, tractors. I sold the uh, 4755 and the 8110, I believe. So I sold both of those tractors already. So all we need to do is get this thing up onto a trailer, load it up, and we can get down to dealers, see what they got. So. We're gonna hop in a truck here. Which truck are we gonna get in? You know what? I think we're gonna need the second gen, so we're gonna hop in the second gen. Alright, now, if I'm not correct, do you believe the flatbed's in here? Yep, there it is, right there. Now I just need to open the garage. Boom. Also, if you're wondering where the car hauler trailer is, uh, that's sold. Just wonder why. Because <laughs> I didn't really need it, and it was kind of a buy. That was kind of just like, you know what? It looks cool. I'm gonna buy it. So that's basically what I did. I used it for a couple occasions, but I'm not going to need it for because I have this thing technically, so it'll be fine. I'm just going to get use this trailer, which honestly works a lot better because it's wall flat and gooseneck kind of. The other one was, but it was a bit sketchy because we tried to haul a 6x6 six six on the back of it, which was just a great idea. All right, enough jibber-jabbing. we got to get this thing loaded up onto the trailer. And, well, not necessarily fast, but we need... We, yeah, just pick up the pace a little bit, cause, uh, these things we're picking up, it's a lot. Also, welcome to Burger Farms, where we make everything pop a wheelie. Alright, if it'll even get up on there, which it won't. But you see, here at Burger Farms, we don't give up! Ha ha ha! Burger Farms, let's go! Oh god, too far. Alright, it's a good spot for it. Strap it down, it's not coming off. I don't know what to think about with this, but, uh... Probably gonna be a bit top heavy. Eh, just a bit. Nothing too bad though. Okay, no, never mind. Uh, go that way. No, you know, I don't know anymore. Okay, do you have? Nope, nope, nope. I'll see you guys all at the dealer. All right, and just like that, we have made it to the case dealer once again. And there's our John Deere's right there. Look at that. They already got it ready for us. And also, we need to unload this thing behind us, too. Which, look at that. They got the shed door open. And, we bought a couple more things. We bought the Plow, the John Deere, does that have a name? Uh, 2730. Alright, Plow, this thing requires, I think, 430 horsepower. We could try using the 8RX, but, yeah, no. Also, we need to get this thing unloaded, because this is kind of a safety hazard obviously and also the fact that both wheels on each side are sti basically sticking out a ton all right now i just need to put this thing in here stop the engine and we could just sell it on the spot boom just like that we now have six hundred thirty thousand dollars to spend which <laughs> i know two things i've already bought that thing and that thing what do i bought the tractor i don't know both tractors and the baler are not sold so they literally just got those in today because I told them to bring it in for me to take a look at them. And I was kind of expecting to buy, but also not expecting to buy. Also, I need to shut that because I don't think Jimmy wants that open. Also, I had an idea for a new truck because they got all these trucks here for sale. And I was wondering which truck should I buy because we got all these nice trucks here. Dooleys, single axles, and all that. But I need... I need a favor from everybody. I need you guys to comment the number one for the Ram Power Wagon, 
two for the 2023 Super Duty, three for the Chevy Duramax, single axle, with the plow, of course, four for F250 King Ranch, single wheel, and it's not leveled, it's, yeah, it's kind of awkward, but type in four if you want this thing, type in five if you want the Ram, which we originally had in Griffin, Indiana, wink, wink, if you hear that, if you remember that, props to you type in six if you want the chevy high country dually this thing this thing's a beast i don't know why i never bought this thing but this thing is just a beast and honestly i would appreciate it if you guys bought this but hey it's your guys decision i'm not saying anything type in seven for the 34 3500 yeah 3500 heavy duty cummins i believe cummins it's got a cummins engine it's single wheel it's like super long yeah type eight for that I mean, seven for that, my bad. And eight for the F-250 Super Duty King Ranch. Again, this thing, also a really nice truck. It's, I believe, leveled, but, hey, I don't know everything. And also nine for the squatted truck, which may or may not possibly get destroyed. Anyways, back to what we're talking about over here, which we got the John Deere 5020 diesel. This thing's got upgraded, like, 300 horsepower in it, I think. And it's hooked up to a 6090 John Deere Baylor, which is... Uh, I have no clue. But anyways, this is one of the main things we came here. The John Deere 410 8RX. This thing is... This thing's a big boy right here. This is what I really wanted. But also, these things come in handy too. So, we're just going to load the John Deere onto the trailer right now. Ooh! Purrs like a kitten. Alright. Perfect. There's the plow. Even better. Also, a possible another reason why I bought this thing is definitely not because it has tracks. I definitely not the only reason I bought it. It's the only reason I bought it. Anyways, I know this, like, plow takes a lot more horsepower than, well, this tractor has. But, it looks like it fits it pretty well. I mean, it pulls it pretty well. But yet again, this is on concrete. So, I guess I can't be talking, but... Hey, it look, it should work with this thing, but I don't know. I'm not an expert in this, as you can tell. And should be pretty obvious. But it should be a pretty quick drive home. And alright, wouldn't you know? We made it. Yeah, remember the fact I said I think this thing should be able to pull this plow pretty easily? It, I've learned out it's not, so... I'm not going to make that stupid decision, or idiot assumption, I should say. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the 9R, or 9RX, whatever you want to call it, and we're going to take that thing, and this and that thing is going to be used for it, because there ain't no way I'm pulling it with that thing, because I know this thing right here, the 9R, it can definitely do it. And I also know I didn't spend like almost a million dollars on this thing, just to have it not do anything around here. Because I know it can do something. Just the one thing that's going to suck about this. It's an articulated tractor. And I don't really like to plow with an articulated tractor. It's going to suck. It's going to take a long time. But, why not? Screw it. As most people would say. And alright, we're at the infamous, infamous, canola field. Yeah, canola field. Uh, I don't know, I did okay, uh, but, but I don't know what buttons do. Uh, I don't know what buttons do! Man, I always had stories about the city life And the crazy nights I figure I should probably give it a try Baby, check it out, see what it's all about but the traffic was fast and the money was slow The people I met you never get to know I kinda miss this place I used to live back home Cause up here it's pregnant Paycheck, rat race, what's next? I'm tired of feeling like a small fish in a big pond I think I go back where I came from Where everybody knows my name my friends are still the same I guess the slow life ain't been just right Like a bonfire on a cold night Hell, and you can keep your nine to five Happy with your simple life If 
Yeah, I ain't here to try to change your mind Trying to save your time In case you're thinking about breaking out the bucket list Girl, you can skip this funny business Cause up there it's complicated and overrated Down here everything is understated That's alright by me I got everything that I need But there is breakneck, paycheck We just got done with everything we really needed to do. Stop out the field. I didn't show you guys all that because, well, yeah, it would take forever. Also, we got everything from the dealer back over to here, so everything is good there. Turn off the second gen. So, yeah, that's really it. all you have to do today. All you have to do now is really just wait for October, which will be in next video. But that is going to be an amazing harvest, a big harvest, I know that. But, I don't know. I don't know what to th think about the harvest. I know a harvest is going to be big. It's probably going to be like a million dollar harvest. But, I mean, anyways. Also, if you guys are curious what the total came out to of everything we purchased. The total came out to $556,292. Whoops. I mean, as if you can't tell, I'm kind of broke now. But, we got... Some bales to sell, which are over here. We can sell all those bales. We can keep a couple for the cows just in case, but cows are doing good. They're starting to produce milk finally because they're out of puberty. So, perfect. Anyways, guys, that's be it for today. See you guys all next time. Peace. Wow, you made it to the end of this video. Good job. Welcome to Burger Farms, where we go build content just like this every single time. See you guys next time. Hope you all enjoy. Bye.